Sean Austin, for you guys who don't know. Uh, so a quick recap, what I've been doing and trying to uh, tier it is beginning with actually interfacing, which, or researching, which I didn't know much or anything about, user interfaces, the experience and interaction. Taking that and making a concise resource for developers, so you know, focusing heavily on the blog, my thoughts, actually you know, the resources themselves, books, papers, not, not so much papers in the end now. Um, along with just updated web resources because those are actually probably the most valuable. But in any case, just bringing it all together so it's pretty quick and saves people time and they learn things. And then taking that from what I've learned from my naive understanding of interfaces beforehand and making something that's a pretty common task, which is a weather app for Android and making it uh, you know, hopefully better from the lessons that we've learned. Um, so yeah, this is a progress right now on the, the research, which is I mean, it's ongoing for the rest of the summer, but for the goals, it's where I want it to be. Um, there's, there's more information in this. The research community behind this is actually more extensive than I thought. Uh, it goes back many decades for people doing academic research and, and interfaces and interactions and things like that. Um, so this actually validated a lot of what I was thinking, which is there's a lot of, a lot of material to try to mine. Figuring out what's relevant and what's not, I think, is a big problem, and that's what I've been doing. Um, and found out actually, which goes against my initial assumption, because I think being an RPI, a little more research geared, which is books by prominent figures are probably the most important uh, things in the interfaces and, and interactions. So, more importantly, uh, this is what I have right now as a pretty, I think, a pretty good list. Um, and I'm, right now, what I'm doing is then going to read all these, which I've started, and, and write up. Um, some more information on them. But this actually is not just a list, it's an order. So starting with the first one, Designing Interactions by uh, Bill Moggridge, which he was the designer of the first laptop. And that gives you a very general idea of just how interactions are you know, happening in the whole world and a different way to think about it. The next book is more psychological. It has ideas of how people's behaviors and um, behavior mechanics come into play. And I think that's because he's a PhD. But he's one of the guys who was part of the Skunk Works that created Java. Um, the next one, Don't Make Me Think, is by Steve Krug. He was a consultant for a lot of very large uh, web companies. Apple's not just web, but for AOL, I think Netscape, um, I think eventually Mozilla, too. The next guy, Alan Cooper, um, The Inmates from the Asylum, is probably the most interesting one that I want to read. It's about how businesses are being run by people, or you know, these things are being run by people who aren't in the position to fully understand them, so it's more or less about business. Um, and Alan Cooper is kind of the father of Visual Basic, so again, it's a very uh, powerful author and at the same time, pretty interesting concept. And I think it was most important to end with the guy who got me kind of interested in this topic, which is Donald Norman. He was the uh, VP for product research, I think, at Apple for many years. And one of the most prominent figures in user-centered design right now. He um, just came out with his book, Living with Complexity, which kind of actually ties in everything from the four previous books. And I think by going through those, it's going to be a great order and make a lot of sense. So that was one of my initial goals, um, not directly related to coding, obviously, but I think very important. Um, the actual coding aspect, I found out some things by reading what I've read, not those books specifically yet, but thinking about the compatibility issues with Android, which is the uh, platform I'm targeting. I initially thought going for 3.0 would make sense because it has more, I guess, flash in terms of uh, like animations and things like that. So it seemed pretty interesting to do that with interfaces, but then I realized I would be, I think, topping out like 80% of users in the end um, if I just did 3.0 and then 2.3 and 2.2 are other ones. So what I did is try to find the most bare bones way of making this, but applying these ideas. Um, so pretty much every single person who has Android could use it, which is, again, part of user-centered design, thinking of people's needs and wants and uh, you know their behaviors and not changing them. So this is, this is actually the prototype that's working. Uh, it wasn't the prototype mock-up, which is on the next slide, but this is what's working against, you know, it's bare bones, it's only core functionality right now, it's not part of the, the interface, um, really. But it's supposed to be GPS, it's just gonna lock on your GPS, pull that up immediately, give you, you know, your weather now, your weather tomorrow, the five day, um, and just have, again, very focused on streamlining it, make sure it works for as many platforms as possible. Um, and working with the Google API, so it's you no know, good data. This is what I want it to look like, as best as I could do in prototyping software. Um, 
All the information that's important is presented to you immediately. These are a pretty important aspect, making sure it's you know, meeting expectations when you go to a weather application. Something I didn't put on here for next steps is a live wallpaper and widget for Android, so if you're looking for information, it's even faster, um, which is, I think, the purpose of the, the application in the end. But it's, the coding is, you know, it's not a, a very complex application, so what I'm trying to do is you know, get these out very quickly, and I'm actually ahead of schedule for that. So what I want to do is tie in the ideas of user, user testing, so I can put it on the Android market, get feedback from people, and iterate over it before the end of the summer. Um, and still apply the ideas of what I've learned for interfaces and experience. So I think that's you know, pretty useful. It'll be out pretty soon. I'm trying to get it out within a week and a half. And uh, yeah, so I think, I think that's everything. And, and then, of course, refine the, you know, refine the blog, get more resources, and write up in the end a pretty concise idea of what I've learned from it, how the application and feedback is important for the next steps, and then hopefully get a lot of downloads for our <laughs> Um, yeah, that's it. Any questions?